Hey everyone, it's Nilu. Welcome back. Um, I'm really excited because you know your girl loves a good declutter and today we're going to be decluttering my bathroom. I recently did a makeup declutter and it was super super fun. I like getting rid of stuff. So I wanted to go through my bathroom, go through my shower, my little cabinets, my medicine cabinets, all my little drawers and stuff and see how much crap I have amassed in the past. Things build up really quickly so I'm excited to go through and kind of declutter my life. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna start with my medicine cabinet here and we'll start with these first two. This is argan oil. I use this as moisturizer, so that's staying. Deodorant, that's staying. My sunscreens, I use those every day. Some deodorant, more deodorant. Prescription topical. This is like just, I don't even know why this is here, but it's some lipsticks that I do use. I did declutter all the lipsticks I don't use in my last declutter video, but this is a little, um, eyelash serum. Or this is a little eyelash serum called New Lash that I actually showed in a favorites video from last year and I love it but it's so old now that I need to get another one. I've had it for more than a year now which is not good if I'm putting it on my eyelashes and I haven't used it in forever so I may or may not replace this but this needs to go for sure. Okay now on to the next little shelf. I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray which I love and one of my favorite hand creams which is Working Hands O'Keefe's Working Hands Hand Cream. Um, Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, I use that to take my eye makeup off, a sunscreen I really love. So this I actually just purchased, I purchased these two recently from Derm Store. It's the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil and the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Tinted Creme. Um, and this is tinted so it looks so good, it's the only, let's see. It's 17% zinc oxide, so it's the only physical sunscreen that's tinted that is actually my color tint and not like some weird pinky gray color. So I just got that and I love it. And I do wanna mention this because I had a sample of it and I know it has olive oil, which I know has broken me out in the past. But my skin loves this stuff for some reason and I actually think that this was irritating my skin in some way, this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. So I'm replacing it with this. So I am gonna get rid of this, probably give it to my mom before I try to responsibly get it from the packaging. This was my attempt at getting a cheaper water resistant tinted sunscreen, but this has that pinkish gray tint that I just cannot. I just can't with this product in terms of the tint. So I did buy this, it's definitely pricier, but have to get rid of that. So getting rid of those from that shelf. This shelf is all of my nail polishes and a little bit of cuticle oil. I'm actually not gonna touch this shelf because if you have seen my nail polish declutter video, I went through all of my polishes and that is all I have left now. <laughs> so go watch that. I'll link it in the cards up here and I will link it in the description. This next little shelf here is just all my perfumes. So I've got the YSL Black Opium and like a few others that I really like. And then I have my travel size micellar cleansing water and an extra sunscreen. So I'm just gonna leave all of that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna mess with are these little drawers. Ignore my extension cord, please. <laughs> um, I'll start with the top drawer. This I keep all my miscellaneous stuff here that I use every single day. So toothpaste, retainer, this and that. Um, this is an extra toothpaste I actually don't like. I started using Sensodyne, which has been helping with my tooth sensitivity. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I have some hair clips that I use. I use really everything in this little section. A little atomizer, I've got this and that. Oh, this mascara is very old. I should have decluttered this in my last one, but I've had it for a while, so I'll declutter it now. This is dirty, it's super embarrassing. I need to clean it, I keep saying that, but I don't. That's that drawer. The next drawer, oh lord. This is where I keep all my makeup, and I've already done my makeup declutter, thankfully, so I don't actually have anything in this section to get rid of, except to mention that from my makeup declutter, I decluttered this, but I'm actually using it as dry shampoo because powder works just as well as dry shampoo for me. So for that to not go to waste since the packaging was broken and it's just old, I don't want to give that to anyone, it's kind of gross, so I just decided to use it as dry shampoo. My next drawer is all of my hair stuff. I use most of this stuff on a daily basis, but I have a hairbrush, which is one of the little wet brushes, a comb, my favorite curling iron, I love this curling iron, and I also really, really love my flat iron, which is a chi I've had forever. This I never ever use, so I'm gonna declutter that. 
give it to somebody who will use it. And then in here I just have some extra hair clips, some scrunchies, and my dry brush, but I use everything else in this section, so I'm gonna keep all of that. Okay, this bottom drawer is kind of a hot mess. Um, I have a lot of stuff, so I have little cotton pads in that corner, and then I've got extras, so this is kind of like my little extras area. I have an old toothbrush. I don't use this anymore because I got that really cool toothbrush I talked about, um, the Oral-B one that I talked about in my last favorites video, but these are two brand new toothbrushes. I like to keep these in case friends sleep over if they've forgotten their toothbrush. I like to be that person who has an extra for them because I feel like a good person doing that. <laughs> so there we go. Keeping that, this is some more cotton pads. I have um, backup argan oil and squalane for my face. I've got some shower caps in here. I had two reusable shower caps and I managed to lose them both, which is really sad because I don't want to use the plastic ones, but for now it'll have to do. Um, I've got some travel size mouthwash that I like, my face wash container that I refill, some body wash. And then this is actually how I got into using that DHC deep cleansing oil. I got this little sample, if it'll focus, and I was like, oh God, there's olive oil in it. I'm gonna hate it, but my skin loves it. And that's why I ended up purchasing it. So I'll probably end up refilling that. I already have one of these that I use. So this is a second little exfoliating mitt. I think this tin, so this is an empty mint tin. I know this is weird, but uh, tins are great to reuse for soap, but I just never ended up reusing this, but it's recyclable. So I will get rid of that and recycle it. This is the little messy, messy, messy box. Um, my Cinema Secrets tin for brush cleaning. I do want that. A little Bare Essentials thing. I can put loose powder in that and that's an extra floss. This is a little nail file situation. I will never use this. I've had it for so long and I have nail files I like better. And then just some nail kit items. I actually do use these when I do my nails. So we'll keep some of these extras and get rid of the rest. It's still a messy drawer though. The area under the sink, I feel like is kind of a scary thing for everybody because you never know what you will find down here. And I just moved a few months ago, so this should be clean, but really it is kind of a mess. Um, this little cute little uh, crate here that's uh, lined with fabric, I actually got a pack of those at Sam's Club for, I think it was like a three pack for $14. So I thought that was really cool. And they're really great for storage. You can take out the lining and wash it. So I love those, but I keep all of my makeup bags and little travel bags down here. I always end up keeping these Sephora favorites boxes and for honestly, I don't know why. I really need to get rid of them. So this one still has all of the products in it except the one I'm currently using, which is the YSL Shock Mascara. But I'm gonna remove all of these and recycle the box because it's ridiculous. I don't need this box just lying around for no reason whatsoever. Okay, I've got some mouthwashes. I use this in the morning after I brush my teeth and then I use this activated charcoal one at night. This makes her teeth black, but it's actually gonna make her teeth whiter in the long run. I like those. And then I have this little basket of nasty beauty blenders that I need to wash. I have all of my brushes, well, most of my brushes right here. And honestly, I need to do a separate declutter just for my brushes. So if you would like to see um, a brush declutter video. I would be more than happy to do one, but this is a cute little um, caddy thing I got from Target. Shout out to my friend Ashley, who went and got one and then inspired me to waste my money as well. <laughs> but these are all my brushes, or the majority of them, but I can do a separate brush declutter if you would like to see one. I think we should go through all of these bags. This um, was one that my family friend gave me. I love it and I love her, so I'm keeping that. This is giant, it's a little Lancome bag that came with a perfume purchase. I love it for traveling, it's the perfect size. Um, same with this, this is a Thierry Mugler perfume pouch. I think I'm gonna end up keeping most of this. I actually decluttered most of the stuff I didn't want when I moved to my new apartment. These are three little Glossier pouches. I like these for storing liquids and traveling. This is a little Sephora confetti pencil case technically. I use it as a brush pouch um, and I love it because it is the only thing that actually properly fits my brushes and I love this. And it fits all sizes of brushes and fits them all in one place and it's great for travel. So I use that every time I travel. This is such a cute little Bloomingdale's um, makeup bag, but the, the shape of this, and I don't even know why I bought it, but the shape of it is just so hard to store stuff in that I think I'm going to pass that on to somebody who will enjoy it more. 
This little mesh makeup bag I got with the little faux leather zipper, I got this from Urban Outfitters and I actually love this. I use this to put all my makeup in when I'm traveling because I carry my makeup in my carry-on. I don't want to risk losing it. <laughs> this, oh my gosh, Victoria's Secret pink. I still have signatures from my friends from high school and um, this is actually really, really spacious so sometimes I do travel with this still even though it looks like highlighter threw up in here because that's exactly what happened. Um, this used to be my pencil case in high school. Don't judge me. This is a cute little pouch. I used to use this when I traveled because I thought it was nice, but I don't really reach for it anymore, so I'm actually going to pass that on to someone who may use it more than I do. This is a Ted Baker makeup bag. I actually kept this in my work bag for a really long time, up until recently, so I'm actually probably going to start using it again because I really liked it. And then this is a little Sephora makeup bag that they gave us. Um, I don't need that. I'll get rid of that. I don't want to keep stuff for no reason. So all of this, it's kind of, I use it for different reasons. So I like to have a good variety and like good sizes of bags because you never know what size you might need for what reason. But that is it for that side. I do have a lot of these little organizers and I just, I can't bring myself to get rid of these because you never know if you might need it eventually in the future. So I'm gonna keep it for now, but if I end up not using it, I promise. Anyone and everyone that's watching that I will declutter. This basket just has um, some makeup eraser towels in it and my blow dryer and it's little accessories like the diffuser and whatnot. And back there are tons of exciting back tissue. Okay, let's start with this little row of my, this is like my little cabinet area. So I will start with this little open shelving section and then I'll go into the actual cabinet. This is my makeup um, little acrylic organizer that I actually had on my counter. I did my makeup declutter, so everything in here is good to go. And if you want to see my makeup declutter, I will link that below as well. Here I have two little boxes of crap that I don't really use. So I have these little Next Care acne covers, which actually work really well for acne. I'll keep that. This is a little thing of oil wipes. Oh my gosh, what is this stuff? Like seriously, a random keychain I don't want. I'm getting rid of that. This is my little travel cap for my sunscreen. I need that. And the little toothpaste squeezy thing for when your toothpaste runs out. You guys, I want to laugh so hard because this is the bag of samples that I was talking about in my last video. My 10 questions to ask yourself, 10 easy tips to declutter. This is my bag of samples, but it actually ends up that it's not in my you know what, I'm just gonna give all of these away. I will never use them. They've been there for years and I don't need them. This next one is just like a hodgepodge of things that don't fit. So I have like a bunch of hair ties and stuff. My little um, wax strips that I use, I love those. This has soap in it. I'm gonna get rid of these little um, plastic razor thingies because I don't use plastic razors anymore but I will give these to someone who will use them. I'm not gonna just throw them away. I've got fashion tape, which I need to put in my purse, because why would I need it here? A hair mask that's gonna go in my sample bag and go elsewhere, somewhere that's not my bathroom. <laughs> these are little hair pins. They're not the actual, like they're not bobby pins, but they're little hair push pins. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I don't use those, so I'm gonna give those away. And this is just an extra um, safety razor. This is my dad's old one, so it's like a little vintage one. Um, it is partly plastic, but that's fine. Okay, here is the most exciting, which is my little um, hair and other things little section. I'm actually kind of holding the camera because my tripod does not come up this high, so I apologize for a little bit of movement, but just bear with me here. Um, I've got some nail polish remover, a little acetone, which I do need, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, this is a little body lotion. I'm actually trying to work my way through all of my body lotions. I only have two or three at the moment. Yeah, I've got three. I've got those two and I have this little EOS one. So I'm gonna work through those before I get rid of them. This, however, is super, super old sunscreen, Alta MD. I don't even know what the expiration date is. It looks like it's 2018 sometime, but I've had it for way too long. So I'm gonna get rid of that. In here, I've got my hair play. This is kind of old, but it still works. Like they've changed their packaging now, but I love this product. It's a dry touch up spray. So it's great for kind of refreshing the hair. Um, the Orbe Matte Waves Texturizing Lotion. I talked about this in my August favorites and I love that. Got to be powder, it's been a long time favorite. 
This is a little hair oil. I use this when I travel, so I like that. Um, Orbe texturizing spray, gonna keep that. Volumizing mousse, we'll keep that. This John Prater Frizzies Curl Reviving Mousse, it's fine. I only use it when I travel, but otherwise I don't really like it. This one is so old and it reminds me of like middle school, so I'm gonna get rid of that one and just keep the newer one. Um, but these are all from, like you might have seen these in my holiday videos if you watched any of them, but I hauled them in the little Sephora kit they did and I love all of these, so I'm still working through those. My Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I actually just finished up the large size of this, so I'm, I have moved on to the little travel size because I ran out. Um, dry Volume Blast, I love that. I like most of this stuff and I use most of this stuff. Okay, this is a KMS Curl Up Control Cream. Finishing this up, but I'm gonna keep that. Um, Goldwell Hairspray, I love. This is a good product, but I don't use it enough. It's the Redken Heat Styling Thermo Active um, Blow Dry Lotion. I will pass this on to someone who will use it. Kerastase um, Anti-Frizz Anti-Humidity Milk. I like it, but it softens my hair too much and makes it a little bit flat, so I think I'm gonna give this away. This is another one from that little Sephora collection. I love that IGK Beach Spray. Um, a texturizing wax spray from Goldwell, and then a mousse from Goldwell. KMS hair stay, oh my gosh, anti-humidity sealant. This is so necessary if you live in a humid environment like Houston. It really just seals in your hair and keeps the moisture out. This is a Kerastase uh, Chroma Riche hair oil, I love that. I have had this since I think middle or high school, whenever it popped off on YouTube and I had to buy it and then I have not used it since, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Here's my little top shelf I can barely reach. Um, I have a little neti pot, cause yay allergies. Some panty liners, I've got um, my backup micellar water. I don't use this uh, Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser anymore, so I will let go of that. Um, I can't even reach this stuff. Um, Pacifica Mineral Sunscreen, I do use that, as well as a, another sunscreen that's chemical. Some wood oil, I use this, um, I used to use this as face wash, as like oil cleanser, but not anymore, but I still use it to remove makeup when I'm doing swatches and stuff. This I used to wash my brushes. This antiseptic, ooh, I've had this since I was in middle school and I don't use it anymore, so I'm gonna let go of that one. And on this side, I do wanna, I already know I wanna keep everything on this side because I've got a backup wax strips. I've got tons of backup sunscreen. You don't even wanna know how many are back there. Q-tips, a backup Urban Decay setting spray. Some hair clips are in here and some baby wipes. So that is that little cabinet. Now MTV, welcome to my shower. <laughs> This is my shower, I've got a little basic, I got a sanding shower so I don't have a tub. This is my little exfoliating mitt, I use that all the time. And then my shampoos and whatnot. So these Orbe shampoo and conditioner actually are kind of like my once in a while use. This mane and tail shampoo is the one I use every single day or like every other day whenever I wash my hair, every couple days when I wash my hair. But um, when I do wash my hair, this is what I use because it's just cheap and basic and smells really good. I have this Rose Argan body conditioner that I also got from Lush. It's really good, it smells good. It's a little travel deluxe size of it. I'm gonna finish it up, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. Okay, back to my little caddy here. I am basically done with this Rose Jam. It came in the little kit with that Argan, uh, Rose Argan body thing. <laughs> I'm not a really huge fan of this, it was okay. CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I don't use face wash anymore except for my nighttime face wash. So I don't wash my face in the morning anymore because I noticed it was really messing with my skin. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this, but I really like it. I think I might actually use this as body wash for a while or give it to someone who might want it. I think my mom or my friends might want it. Like I said, the Orbe stuff, it's kind of like a luxury thing. It's there once in a while. I'll use it for kind of when I want like a pick me up, but it's not really my everyday shampoo. This is a little hair mask sample I got that I actually really like, so I'm gonna finish. So I've got bar soap over here, and I actually have all my old uh, plastic razors. I am going to declutter all of these because I'm gonna find a responsible way to recycle them. Um, the reason being is that I've been using my stainless steel razor, my safety razor, and I love it, so I don't even use these anymore. They're just kind of here. So we're gonna get rid of those. Okay, so here, ladies and gents, is all the random-ish I decided to declutter from my bathroom. I really didn't buy most of this stuff as like an impulse, kind of like a reckless purchase. I really used this for a long time. There's barely anything left and I was using this for a long time too until I realized that they weren't really working for my skin. But um, just got the new toothbrush so I don't need that. Some things are expired. 
So that's that. I've got some hair stuff that I got rid of. I'm gonna give this away to someone who will use it and some extra little makeup bags that I'm sure someone will want. I think all this stuff is stuff that can be reused in some sort of way or responsibly recycled. So that is everything I got rid of. I, this actually feels really good and I'm gonna try not to collect too many more things. So there it is, that is my bathroom declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of was inspired to do this because I did my 10 easy ways to declutter video, which I will also link. I'll link all of my declutter related videos in the description box below. So if you haven't checked those out, check them out. But I was inspired by that because I was like, wait, I am talking so much smack and telling everybody else to declutter. And I know I have things in my bathroom that I have not used for years. If you liked this video, please give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.